Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to use AdMob to display ad banners and four interstitial adverts using our Sonar Cocos Helper. The first thing you want to do is go to admob.com, create a free account, and you want to click Monitor's new app. And then there are three ways to add an application. You can either search for an application if it already exists on the App Store. If it doesn't, don't worry. You can either add your app manually or if you've already added it manually, you can just select it. But we haven't created one yet. So I'm just going to create one tutorial, iOS, add mob, select the platform. So for us, it's iOS, click add app. That's the app added, so we're going to select what ad format we want both, so we're going to do ad banner first, just leave everything as default unless you know what you're doing. I'm going to put banner ad test as the name. Then we're going to need this, but we can get it later, so just click create another ad unit, click interstitial, which is full screen ads, and I'm just going to call it full screen ad, click save. Again, we're going to need that, but we can get it from the dashboard. So if we click done, see we have both ad unit IDs for the banner ad and the full screen ad right here. So the next step is to open up our project. So just go into your Xcode project, open, launch that. And what we need to do is first of all, go to our external Cocos Helper Frameworks folder go to Google Mobile Ads SDK, iOS, just extract that. Then inside there, you'll get a Google Mobile Ads framework. Just copy and paste that into the iOS folder of your project, which is right here. So tutorial one, project.ios underscore Mac, iOS, copy and paste it into there. Open up your Xcode project, go to the iOS folder, and drag and drop the Google Mobile Ads framework onto the iOS folder. Just you don't need to select copy items if needed because we've already copied them manually. For added folders, click create groups and for target, just select iOS. So click finish. The next part of this setup process is to go to the sch settings.h and in here we need to enable add mob. So to do that, just change this to true. And we now we need to add all of these frameworks to our project. So go to your root project, go to build phases, link binary with libraries. And now, first of all, we need to add add support. So add support dot framework. Some of the frameworks that you need to add will already be added either by default or from other frameworks that you've added. And if they are, you don't need to add them again. Now we need to add all your toolbox, which which is already in there. The next framework is AV Foundation, already in there. Then it's Core Graphics, again, already in there. After that, we need to add Core Media, which I know by default isn't included. So go to add Core Media framework. After that, we need to add Core Telephony. So Core Telephony framework. Now we need to add the event kit dot framework. It doesn't already exist, so event kit dot framework. And now we need to add the event kit UI dot framework. Now we need to add the message UI framework, which isn't added. So message UI dot framework. Now we need to add the store kit framework store kit dot framework click add again now we need to put system configuration dot framework so now all of our frameworks are included one thing to note as you can see the google mobile ads dot framework which we added manually into our finder or into our project explorer has been added to the link binary with library section if it isn't then just add it manually like so so you want to go to your sch settings.h again, scroll down. We're going to be dealing with these three hash defines. So the first one is the add unit ID, then it's the full screen add unit ID, and finally it's test device. Test device you can't get until you display some sort of ad mob ad, and we'll be doing an ad banner first, then we can get the test device ID. So if we go and get our add unit ID from here, 
and copy and paste that into here make sure there's no spaces at the start or the end and do the same for this full screen ad and now that is actually all set up and ready to display ads so if we go to our scene I'm just going to display an ad when we first launch the application so sonar cocos helper add mob show banner ad by default if you don't specify a position it will display it at the top of the screen so if we click run I'm going to run it on my iPad just let that run I'm going to scroll over I've just got QuickTime open and that is just displaying my iPad so just let the application launch now that it's launched you'll see a ad appear at the top of the screen it's a little bit delayed it's a bit weird let's just scroll over because as you can see we've got the test device but the banner ad has not shown yet so let's just confirm by going into the SE CH settings we have enabled it right here we've got the ad units as well let's just try relaunching it because sometimes that can just fix it okay that is a little weird why the ad banner isn't appearing because considering the test device ID is appearing but what we'll do is copy and paste the test device ID from here put that into add mob test device and now run it again because what happens let's just let this run for a moment and I'll explain oh. okay something has failed let's have a look what has failed never seen that error before so let's just run it again failed again okay so I'm just gonna try disconnecting my iPad I think that's just a general issue so let's launch up Xcode sometimes you get issues like that from running it and generally just unplugging it and plugging it in again fixes it so that's what I'm hoping for so okay yeah there we go it's running or it's about to run once that appears I can actually see on my iPad the ad banner has appeared so let's just try and get this working mm -hmm. okay that has load it up my iPhone I would like it on my iPad but if not I'll load it up on my old iPhone okay there we go so if I just oh, nope <laughs> uh, actually I did it on the iPhone then so if I just run it on the iPad it's gonna launch right now and you'll see the ad mob ad banner appear you'll see it appear at the top there we go and you might be wondering why wasn't it appearing without the test device because obviously not everyone's device in the world is going to be a test device and most likely it probably couldn't get an ad because it doesn't always get an ad which is essentially the fill rate and for that reason we've hidden the ad banner so you don't just get like an empty white space so that's a nice little cool thing but there you can see it works so what we're going to do is go to our hello world scene.cpp maybe I want to display it at the bottom and to display it at the bottom you just specify a position so to do that you do sonar cocos helper add mob no not add mob sorry add banner position e bottom or e top I think it's pretty self explanatory bottom sets it to the bottom e top sets it to the top so let's do bottom now Saying the word bottom a lot reminds me of uh, all that film. It's despicable me too. Anyone that's seen that film will know what I'm talking about. So just let this load and the add mob banner has appeared at the bottom. The next thing we're going to show you is how to hide an ad. So let's just get rid of this code in the menu close callback function. So when we click the menu close callback, what we're going to do is do sonar cocos helper and mob hide banner ad and now if we run this on our device so just let this load up we're going to add at the bottom of the screen and there we go it's appeared so I'm just gonna click 
the button now that I've clicked it the ad has now disappeared another thing I want to show you before you before I show you the interstitial ad if you go into the log there is no evidence of that test device ID anymore and the reason for that is because we don't need to see that ID anymore because we've added it that's the reason why if you was wondering about that so we're going to just common out this code and what we are going to do is add a full screen ad so add mob show full screen ad so if we run this on our iPad actually you know what I'm not gonna do that I'm going to show a full screen ad when I click the button that will probably be better and that's usually what happens it doesn't happen automatically it's when an event has occurred for example the user has died and say five times in one game session that's quite common so I'm just gonna click the bottom right button and as you can see our ad banner has appeared and it is a test ad you might you might be wondering oh, I was trying to click the quick die window to uh, click X I need to click my bad that's my bad you might be wondering why do I need to add your device ID as a test device why can't I just well see real ads and the reason is if Google or RevMob or Chopus or any of these ad networks see a whole bunch of traffic or some sort of anomaly from a device, especially your own device, they have a tendency to ban your account. And trust me, that's something you don't want to take lightly because they will ban it without hesitation and it's almost impossible to get it unbanned so just be careful <laughs> when you're doing it and if you do have a legitimate ad on there don't start clicking it and thinking oh I'll try and get an extra dollar or extra penny or something like that because you'll probably get hardly any revenue and you'll get banned so that's it that's how you set up AdMob using our sonar cocos helper that's how you display banner ads and interstitial ads and that's how you hide the banner ads so if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php there'll be a link in the description so you don't need to put it in your brain straight away and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day